I wanted to tell people a little bit about where the AMP ideas come from. You know, people will occasionally write and say, hey, how'd you come up with Mercury or Raleigh, you name it. What kind of things were you thinking? Uh, I took a number of suggestions from some very good salesmen at different shops who really had uh, a great sense of what people wanted and what maybe wasn't out there for them yeah. to use. Tickling the tube. <laughs> for example, the Mercury, uh, we have a dealer called Wilcut Guitars, a fantastic dealer, been with us for over 10 years, and Eric Cummins, their head salesman, told me at the time, this was like 2002, that, uh, you know, there's a lot of guys who need a really full-featured, wonderful amp that will work at home. In other words, can get very quiet if they need it at night. Uh, with tremendous sound or very clear and take pedals well and by full featured also having reverb and a 12 inch speaker. I found that that <laughs> ended up being the main amp I used. Uh, I found it extremely useful not only at home uh, playing live. I mean I play in a five piece band and the Mercury is, is my main live amp. Well, we've got uh, I've got some other dealers to thank. Uh, Nate from Willie's Guitars, Viceroy Amp, our good friend Dice K in Japan, our Japanese importer suggested a EL84 type amp, uh, maybe Vox-ish, but with a lot more clarity in our own flavor, so that led to the Artemis. Um, also, our good friends at Artisan Guitars, Bill and Adam, were saying how much uh, people were really into the Princeton Reverb amps, the old blackface amps. So we kind of jumped off from there and came up with the sports. So, you know, you start with a, a thought or a concept, though. What would it be like to, for example, take the things I like about a Princeton Reverb and match that with the stuff I like about a, a Tweed Pro? And those, actually, those two were the kind of building blocks for the Rambler, which I have here. came out in 1999. Um, and it sounds very simple, but in a lot of ways it's not. You know, you put those two things together and they might not like each other. And then often through that process, I'll find uh, kind of new ideas, you know. Oh, maybe make a mistake or do something that uh, I think could be neat, but ended up sounding weird, but there was an element of it that was kind of funky and neat. So you end up going down a lot of roads, and with some of these amps, um, the bloke is a great example, you know, uh, you end up going all over the place, trying many different things, some work, some don't, uh, some work okay, and you decide, well, that's not good enough, i got to find something else. Um, but that, to me, is by far the most fun of what I do, is uh, clipping in and out, and trying to think of something new, and trying it out. Um, and there's, at times, some comical examples of that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so we are very lucky to have this amazing group of dealers, all with so many years in the business and a sense of what really works for people. And I want to thank everyone who's ever contributed an idea or even made a suggestion about improving anything we do because uh, I end up incorporating all that and like I just mentioned you know some of these amp ideas have been inspired by our dealers who basically got the suggestions from you at home. Thank you.